How's it going everyone? Wild Thang here and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. So in this one I've got my first ever weapon review for you guys. It's going to be a pretty in-depth one. We're going to look at it in PvE and PvP. We're going to look over the perks and what potential this weapon has. I've had fun with it in the Crucible and it's a laser. It literally melts people. And I'm very excited to show you guys what this weapon is all about. So let's take a look at the perks first off. So starting off, we have Precision Frame. So this weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. Then we have Spark PS, Omelon Post Sight, Short Zoom, Slightly increases range, increases handling speed, and the other option is the Flash HS5. Omelon Red Dot Medium Zoom highlights enemy targets, increases range, and slightly increases handling speed. Moving on, we've got high color rounds. Shots from this weapon knock the target back further, slightly increases range. Then we have Steady Rounds. This magazine is optimized for recoil control, greatly increases stability, slightly decreases range. Moving on, we've got Tap the Trigger. Grants a short period of increased ability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run around the Trostland area and we're going to see what it's like in PvE. So this is it. I do have a shader on it. I should show you what shader is in case you are asking. It's the Dead Zone vo Foliage. So this pops out of chests around the EDZ. So just pop that on and it looks like you've got a camo shader on it so it's pretty cool now I'm going for like the whole wild kind of thing so I'm trying to get all the wildwood gear as well so that's why I've gone for that shader so let's quickly go find some enemies so as you can see for an auto rifle it is very stable and these are the sorts of auto rifles you want to use in the crucible not only PvE, but the Crucible as well. And it's still got quite a lot in the magazine. I killed three people there with one mag. So we're just going to keep shooting people. You can just see how, how accurate this gun is. So you can see down the bottom left there, we've got tap the trigger popping up now and again. So that's the initial, the initial stability boost as well. And it also sounds really freaking nice. It's obviously an Omlon weapon. So it does have that completely different sound to other weapons. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, it sounds like a soft a soft kind of weapon. Rather than like one, any of these uh, metallic sounding ones. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so we're just going to keep melting people. As you can see, it is pretty good on any kind of enemies. I want to try and find a yellow bar for you guys. So it's doing 43 to the head. And how many to the body? 31. I can't even get a headshot now. And I've run out of ammo. That's one thing I don't like about PvE. You run out of ammo far too much. Okay, so I have some more ammo again. And you can see that the high color rounds are knocking the enemy back and they have no chance to actually attack me. So as you can see it does 26 to the body and then 71 to the head. Especially on these little guys. And it's also good at at short range or long range because the stability is so good on this auto rifle. You can use, pretty much use it at any range. Obviously the further away you are the less accurate it's going to be. So like if you, if you started trying to shoot that guy over there. You see the recoil is uncontrollable. <laughs> so it's pretty good at long range, kind of like medium to long range. I got headshots then. And obviously up close it is amazing. So anyway guys, I think that's enough for PvE. I c and there's only so much PvE I can handle. But let's go and jump into some Crucible. 
I've only played on this map once, so I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh, there's some guy over going over to the left. I'm going to scoot down here quickly. That felt good. That felt good. Oh, that freaking didn't. What the hell was that? Oh, are you sniping? Not anymore. Ah, oh, dude stole my kill. That's it. Good, 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 good. Pick up the, pick up the crest. That's it. All right, someone's got a shotty down here. Rip my face! Fire team that fights together. Oh! <laughs> Go on, dude, get him. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, yes. Long distance. Ah, book. Yes. I love this thing! Oh, Minty! Go away! Oh, damn, my face! I think I was weak when I went into that fight. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, did you try shooting me? Almost. Get him! Yes, well done, Blueberry. Alright, so this is a new game. I am hoping... I'm hoping we don't see any Mida. Let's see. I'm hoping. I am positive. Alright, double down first off. One with trip mine and one with someone stealing my kill. That was my kill! I even used a freaking throwing knife on his face. Ah. Nice, nice rocket there, dude. Nice rocket. I need a hunter like you. Come on, two, one, two, two, two! Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Mida! Fucking! Is that Moida? Oh, what a shame. Nice, 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 nice. This is wonderful. Three minutes oh, this left. is wonderful. Thank you, Shax. You've got 30 seconds. That's pretty good. 29 kills, but like half of them were probably assists. And I was getting way too annoyed at people stealing my kills. <laughs> and also Mida, like, oh, I'm going to go to sleep tonight and just dream of that Mida sound. It's just, oh my god, it is so annoying. That's literally the soundtrack to Crucible right now. This gun is absolutely amazing in Crucible. It's just a shame there's so much Mida spam. Why do they have to bring Mida back in? I know it's like linked to the law and everything because it's an exotic weapon, but just no, we just don't want it anymore. Oh. <sighs> but anyway, guys, if you've got one of these auto rifles, I highly recommend using it. It's good in PvE and PvP, and I am in love with it. It's a very solid auto rifle, and you could see throughout those clips, I was melting people who were using the old Mida. So if you're fed up with Mida spam, use this auto rifle against them because it smacks their aim all over the place and they can't use it. So anyway guys, I think that's probably enough coverage of PvP for me and I enjoy PvP but there's some there's like a level. I can't can't do it for hours on end especially when there's so much Mida everywhere. But that's how I have my Uriel's gift set up and it's amazing and if you want to know what the shader is again it's dead zone foliage so anyway guys that's it from me i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below if there are any weapons you'd like to see me use in the crucible or any particular setups and i'll be happy to help so anyway that's it from me have an awesome day and i will see you in the next one